Shut the music off. Okay. Oops. Huh? I forgot how to check the darn inventory. Escape to the menu. I don't know what. Oh, wow, look at that. Here it is. The next portal. Here we go. This place is different from the previous ones. There's a bit of your former world mixing with this one. I don't like it. It feels like it's ripping apart at the seams, but at the same time, everything's coming together. You feel like you're close to the end. Whatever the hell the end is. Hi, uh, hi. Okay. I don't want 
like it. I don't like it. I don't like it at all. Okay, got him. What is this? Is lever activate time for this gate or the gate encasing the frenzied zombie? Or the gate encasing the frenzied zombies? You don't know which way is which. Pull the lever to the left. Press the wrong button. What the hell? 
Yes, low save game. Oh, great. And we're all the way back here. Don't you just love it when that happens? I don't. Can you already come here? Oh yeah, you move forward. This is the floor it is. Hello! See you again. No, fuck off! She clicked all the wrong buttons! What's that over there? I'm gonna go save again.
fill up the chainsaw. There we go. What the hell? Okay. Who are you? Most likely to succeed the worst, of course. Sounds like your typical, most popular kid. You're not the same St. Peter by his angelic kind of personality. That's nice. He's trapped in this cage. He's the first friendly face you've seen in a while, and you hate him like you hate everyone else. But your only reason for Peter is envy. He cracks a smile and begins to talk. Dad, thank God you're here. One moment I was asleep, and the next I woke up here, trapped inside. But I guess it's better than being outside. Well, I've had a lot of time to study these markings. Oh, is that the only thing you're, you can study? <laughs> I'm sorry. And I've determined what, this, what these symbols mean. And I'm afraid this is some sick form of torture, and each option is dismal. The first on your left cuts out my eyes, my tongue, my ears, leaving me senseless. The one after that kills me. The third one cuts off my arms and legs. The last releases me but kills you in the process. I can't stand this anymore. Stand whatever it is, but I don't want any of these to happen to me. At first you question how the results could come to be. Then you see what looks like a tentacle. Or a snake move between the rocks and disappear. Peter isn't a liar. You know he's telling the truth. You're half determined those options even before talking to him. Peter has more of a life to live than you. Hey! We have a life to live too. Every life counts. But he can't live very well with three of these options. What is the value of human life? What draws the line between living and simply existing? Select the button which is the right choice. Trust your judgment. Oh. Oh, hi. Um, last one? I'm sorry. I'm gonna cut off their arms. Jeez, okay. Whew, okay, moving on. I don't wanna go into detail. He's, he's, he's good. Uh, his arms and legs are kind of. Well, he's gone now, so. Bye bye, Peter. You're no longer prom king. Was that too much? If it was, I'm sorry. Where the heck do I go now? Hey, do you mind? What now? He's dead. Thank you for dying. Dead asshole. The 
lever again. Wait, hold on, what gate? Oh! I wasn't paying attention, okay, so there was something there. You won't get me this time! Fuck you! Sorry. I need to heal! to the bathroom. I whispered to Stan and asked him what was wrong with her. He replied that her boyfriend cheated on her. Listen here, you little punk. You don't ever cheat on your girlfriends. And girlfriends don't ever cheat on your man. That is the worst thing ever. And It's really lame to see you stoop that low. After some the cheating probably the cheating had probably gone on for a long time too. After some statistical research I found that half of all relationships involve at least one party cheating on the other. Yeah, that's probably true. It's something well unanimously agreed is bad, yet half of us do it anyway. I parted the thought for the rest of the day, then I overheard her say that her boyfriend told her himself out of his own guilt. Now you see, he fessed up. He told her. He still has some... I don't know. Uh, then I realized how petty the whole situation was. Had her boyfriend continue to lie, they'd still be together. Feelings would be positive on both sides. The girl he was cheating with would have been water under the bridge. But his guilt forced him to do the right thing when de facto made them both feel bad instead of them both still being happy with each other under the roofs. I guess lies are sometimes what can hold a relationship together. No! Don't let this game fool you. Lies don't hold a relationship together. It destroys your trust in each other, and it's just bad, okay? If you cheat on your partner or something, you need to talk with them and tell them the truth. You can't keep lies from each other. I'm not going to get too much into that because I don't want to be ranting on about that kind of thing. Uh, oh. Oh! Okay, we forgot to click on him. He's dead. He did what he had to do. 
Go on, Stan. There must be others. I'm safe now. Are you? Where do I go now, then? Okay, I'm guessing I go back through the portal. Goodbye, Mr. Pop. Oh, frick. I have to go all the way around. Oh, look at this pile of corpses. Okay. And I can't run any faster. There's a bed right here. I want it. Can't, can't have it. It's fair enough, I guess. Hey, what's this? Is there something here? No, there's nothing here. Okay, I'm gonna be stupid this time. Up, up, up. Here we go. Can I fill up my thing? No, I don't have to fill it up. Yee! Oh! That's what got me killed last time. I'm not, I'm not gonna be stupid. Oh, hey, there's a paper over here. Right over here. I've been thinking about some of the decisions I've made in my life. Which ones have been important, which ones are wrong, which ones are right, and which ones I'll never know were right or wrong. Since I'm only exposed to one reality of the decision, like Einstein says, there's an alternate reality for every decision. Like I, uh, uh, bleh. So I was trying to think back onto my first decision, my very first one. Surely I must have been an infant and I wouldn't have been able to remember. But at that thought, I realized what it was. When I was just a seed in the womb, I had a decision once I got to the fallopian tubes. Right or left, it is by far the most important decision of my life. Being one of life or death at the same time being so simple. 50-50, had I gone the other way, I wouldn't exist. I don't get it. It just went over my head. Surely someone else in the comments will understand, please explain to me. Is the lever stuck? The lever stuck, isn't it? Hi there. This lever activates out of this gate. Okay. Uh, I don't want to release the zombies. What's that? No, there's nothing there. Okay, moving on. What? Why is there a lamp? Oh, there's another page. Hello there. So there's this game in Mario Party Guard. Gold Bowser's Big Blast. The way it works is that there are five plungers, not the toilet kind, the ones that activate explosives. Oh. One of the five plungers activates the bomb and kills the player who chooses the wrong plunger. The game then eliminates the plunger and the remaining three players choose from four plungers. Kind of like musical chairs of people's lives and decisions. The choice of plungers is random and completely arbitrary. There is no pattern to follow or any way to determine which is the correct plunger. Okay. There are two ways of programming this to make a fair game. On one hand, you can set up an array and randomly determine which plunger activates the bomb. Set that one to the active plunger and then set all the pl other plungers to be inactive. On the other hand, the lazier way to do it would be to roll an imaginary five-sided die at the selection of any plunger. And if it falls on the wrong side, the bomb will explode. In terms of fairness, the odds would be exactly the same. But it would remove the aspect of choice from the players if there is any choice involved at all. Okay. If there is a difference... Is there a difference between a player making an arbitrary decision on an arbitrary plunger and just determining from random chance for the player? I don't know, but the real question is, will Chelsea ever be able to speak proper English? Let me know what your thoughts are down in the comments, if, uh, if that's a possible thing. If it, it's completely random whether or not the player's choice activates the bomb, would it be any different if the bomb was just determined arbitrarily by a roll of the die? Sure, the player can choose whichever plunger they want, but since they have no pattern or strategy to follow, it doesn't matter. Even if they choose the pink plunger every time, or choose a different plunger every time, or choose the one based on whatever their strategy may be, since the active plunger is determined randomly, then it's all the same. I think about whether or not 
free will can exist a lot, and I think about Bowser's big blast more than anything. Okay, so you like Mario. Good to know. Hello, it's my bed. I go to sleep. I feel slightly healed. Why? Why the music? What the heck? Is, is that guy over here? Hello. Okay. Goodbye. Everyone's dead here. Oh, God damn it, the portal's way over there. What the hell? How do I get over there? He's woken up! Ah, uh, yes. Stan McCloud. You've been in comatose for two weeks. That is awful. You may have amnesia. You miss quite a lot. I want to have to ask you to keep still for your own safety. There was a car accident at your school's graduation. It killed a lot of people and injured several others, including you. We believe Marcus lost control of his car and drove it into the crowd. Peter saw it coming and was able to push you out of the way. Peter, unfortunately, wasn't so lucky. Wait a minute. He's been comatose since then and passed away a few minutes ago. Wait, what? Marcus Drew was fatally injured in a crash. It was a... What? An obscure medical anomaly allowed him to live until a few hours ago. Marcus was a fighter. Unfortunately, his suffering was all in vain. In an unrelated incident, your friend Marvin Fogg has gone missing. And Stan, it is from the head heart that I tell you that we lost two of your family members. Your mother and your have Okay, that was no car accident, but 
He's brain dead. Oh god, you're right. His heart started pumping again. Take him off the machine. Shit, Stan is losing consciousness now. He's going back under. Fuck, get the machine prepared. I'm going back in. Part two? Oh my god. That's insane. Okay. Marcus. Marcus? Wait. Where are my... Whoa. You wake up, you can't move. You're in pain. You try not to focus on it. You try to think. You've been here before. This has already happened. No, you saw this already happen through Stan's eyes. You and everyone else are stuck in this little hell. He's like, yeah, that little prick. You can hear those monsters trying to burrow the way to get to you. Weird. They're similar to the monsters you imagine in your sketches. There's not much you can do but wait for your death. Oh, wait. You hear something. Someone. They're killing them all off. Breaking through. Your memory's slowly returning. Stan is coming to kill you. Huh? What? Oh, well, look who it is. It's Stan. He made you look like an asshole to everyone in school. When he sued you, he lost the respect of all your friends and family. He claimed you pushed him. You know he tripped. Or at least you think he did. One of your three second blackouts happened just before. Focus, Marcus. Stan is focused on you. He's staring at you, trembling a little with his sword. He's contemplating whether to kill you or release you. If you get the chance, you should kill him. Everyone will be released from suffering in this little hell of his. But you know he won't. He hates you just as much as you hate him. You know what's coming. He's creeping around behind you. He'll stab you in the back at any moment now. You shut your eyes. Oh. Oh, are we dead? Oh, no, he released us. He killed you, ass. I hope you assumed he was gonna kill you. He releases you from your bonds. He doesn't say anything. You're not sure how to feel about him right now. He saved your life, but the fact remains. If you kill him now, everyone will be released. His back is turned. You can't even push him into the lava. Should you kill him or will you simply wait for the world to fade away? Oh, we have a choice. Oh, shit. Honestly? I... Is that a timer? No, it isn't. I kinda just wanna kick him. Okay, I'm kicking him into the lava. You push him. You fall like a broken marionette into the lava. You made the right choice. Yes! Uh-oh. We can... Did we do the right thing? Oh. I don't know if that was the right thing to do. But anyway, I'm not going to continue on. I'm going to... I think there's something else. I, I think we... Uh... Yeah, we're going to have to work on that. But for now, I'm going to leave the video here. Thank you guys so much for watching. And I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please hit that button down below. And like always, I'll catch you all in the next video. Stay awesome. Bye.